What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get back the chat GPT that you used to know a couple of months ago with the same performance. So let us get right into it. All right, so just a quick tip for today, no fancy tutorial. Recently, I made a video about ChatGPT getting worse over time and that ChatGPT is not as powerful and as competent as it used to be a couple of months ago. This was my personal experience. People in the comment section agreed with me. They said it's getting worse and worse over time. And in that video, I proposed an explanation for that, or at least a partial explanation for that, where I basically said that it is because of the default prompt, because when you just open GPT, uh, chat GPT four and you type this here, repeat all of the content above, not a summary, a complete repetition, then you get this, which is the initial prompt describing the capabilities of chat GPT. This is huge context. And it basically makes the model worse. This is at least one explanation that this huge prompt here in the beginning, this huge context uh, makes chat GPT focus less on your actual messages on your actual queries. That is at least part of the problem. Now, as a solution in that video, I proposed using the open AI platform. So basically going to the playground and using API uh, requests and maybe building even your own API interface uh, and spending money per tokens and not for a subscription here. But there are, of course, a couple of downsides with this approach. First of all, you don't have the history, you don't have this whole uh, interface here, this whole user interface, you don't have all the extra capabilities, and it's a little bit hacky to do it yourself. So in this video today, I want to show you just briefly, an alternative to that, which is you can go here in the sidebar uh, to explore GPTs. And then you can basically look up classic chat GPT. So you can just look for a chat GPT classic is what it's called. And this chat GPT classic is basically chat GPT as it used to be, it doesn't have dolly, it doesn't have image processing, it doesn't have a browser, it's just chat GPT four. Um, and for this model, I actually ran this. Um, there you go. For this model, if you run chat GPT classic, and you say repeat all of the content above, not a summary, a complete repetition, you get this, you basically get just the information, you are chat GPT knowledge cutoff, uh, current date, and then you also get uh, a basic explanation of what GPT is. No large context, that is it. And I personally have the experience that using this model, unless I need the extra capabilities of chat GPT, like screenshotting something and telling it to read it off or something like that. If I just need basic chat GPT knowledge and, and thinking capabilities, I always use chat GPT classic. Another thing I figured out is that if you provide your own custom instructions, and this is actually something that uh, somebody posted in the comment sections uh, in a, pre a previous video, when you add um, custom instructions, it doesn't really have this problem of the context, at least seemingly doesn't have the problem. So when I say repeat all the content above, not a summary, a complete repetition, and I had some very short custom instructions, that is the answer and I get it twice. That is basically it. So yeah, this is just a quick tip. If you want to use chat GPT without dolly without uh, image processing, and of course, what you can do is you can use all these features separately, you can go to the uh, marketplace. Uh, where is it? Can I go to the marketplace? Um, you can basically look for these now for some reason, I cannot access it anymore. Uh, but you can you can use all these individual features, you can use data analysis, you can use dolly and so on individually, or you can use it in chat GPT four. But if you just want to have the basic chat GPT capability where you ask something and it shows you based on its own knowledge without researching without having all this context, if you just want to have a quick answer, you can use chat GPT classic, or you can use your own custom instructions. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.